Tracy, uh, we used to always look at these reports by a company called Challenger Grand Christmas. They they tracked layoffs. It was really important around recessions and things like that. And they'd tell you that layoffs are coming and you could sense from that that maybe a recession was coming. You caught something that they wrote about this week, and that is for the first time ever they recorded uh, jobs lost as a result of artificial intelligence. All we talk about these days, chat GT, B, G, D, GPT and artificial intelligence, how it's going to destroy democracy and destroy the world. Maybe it's going to be great. I don't know. But this is where the rubber hits the road for a lot of people. It is replacing some jobs. Yeah, in some respects, it's kind of weird that it took this long to see this start showing up in the data. But you're absolutely right. Chat GPT was released back in November. And fast forward to May, we get this challenger jobs report. Um, this is the thing, as you mentioned, that kind of lays out all the layoffs that are being announced by companies in the U.S. Comes out monthly. Uh, usually the list of reasons for layoffs is kind of boring. It's restructurings, um, maybe some offshoring, things like that. But this month, for the first time ever, they included a category for AI, 3,900 jobs lost. As you mentioned, and I guess the big question now is which careers, which categories mm -hmm. are actually most exposed to this risk?